do a quick follow-up video here. This was done with a cement all mortar mix, the white and green or brown bag. And uh, it was done this past November, before it really got cold. Uh, let's say November, November, December. Um, sponge floated it with the cement all. Basically looked like that, okay? original actually it was it was laid over here if you could tell this top stair was laid over with a cement all type product a long time ago and then i resurfaced the rest of it uh this obviously here needs to be touched up again probably gonna come over and redo the whole thing do the top section as well sponge float the whole thing So not bad. This is the, even though this is the back entrance of this school, this is the main entrance for the kids coming in and out. So this gets heavily salted. We've had multiple, multiple snowstorms and ice storms. As you can see, there's still globs of salt down here. What happens is the, uh, the buses pull in, kids get out here. And this is their main entrance. So again, this gets heavy, heavy use. Heavy, heavy use. But not bad. I guess, you know, it's a maintenance item, right? So you got to keep on doing it. If we come back here in the spring, maybe in April or May or so, maybe we even touch up these stairs here. These have never been touched. This building, you can see there's salt sitting up on that landing. So... We'll touch it up, but this is, uh, just wanted to show a little follow-up to um, the painting it with the Portland, but here we didn't use the Portland. Again, cement all, mortar mix. I think it's like $16 a bag or so. Or maybe a loose, watery type mix. Apply it with the uh, trowel and hit it with the sponge float or just a regular sponge, circle, circle motion. And that's the uh, finished product. So I'm going to show you what I did do with uh, actual just Portland and water. And that's going to be the front of the church and the side steps. So I'm going to come back to you with that. I'll be back. So here we are. This is a section that I did with the Portland. Um, this is the... This, this stairway gets used uh, pretty heavy as well. This is the uh, stairway to the church here that leads to the front entrance. As you can tell, the Portland held up relatively well on the face, but on the tread, not at all. Not so well. Obviously, wherever you're having heavy foot traffic, this is not going to hold up. But I guess it did fill in some of the finer cracks and stuff like that, and um, not perfect, but I suppose it's better than nothing. By the way, today is March 8th, I believe, Sunday, March 8th. This is the front stairways. By the way, that was just a Portland, that was just a Portland patch, but obviously no really has traffic here, so that little patch is holding up, right? The section looks like shit. Okay, so this is proof that, um, you know, if you're going to go through the effort of actually sponge floating these stairs, you might as well use uh, the rapid set mortar mix. Okay, so that's that. We'll see how, uh, again, we're going to touch these up in, in April or May, and we're going to do it with the, uh, with the rapid set. Now I'm going to do the side steps as well i'll give you a little shot on that and uh we'll come back to you to give you a full wrap up and it's windy up here today windy so i'll go here with the sun to our back um this is the uh, section again this was done with just portland cement and water sponge floated on but these steps are basically almost never used 
okay? They don't get salted, they don't get traffic. So you can tell that here it lasted. But again, if you're gonna go through the effort to do all the work, mix it up and everything, you might as well just use that Rapid Set Mortar Mix. That's the, that's the way to go. The only problem that I have with that Rapid Set Mortar Mix, really not a problem, it's just more of a, of a, uh, issue with the color it, it dries bright bright white and i haven't been able to find i don't know if sacred or somebody else uh, makes one that's a rapid set that dries gray or if i could add coloring to it and i think i could add coloring to it but um I'd like it to be like consistent right so i mean if a rapid set made it pre-mixed that uh I don't have to worry about mixing anything up and it dries gray. That would be much better for some of these patch jobs because then you're gonna have, you know, the regular concrete gray dry and the bright white. Um, see that bright white right here? This bright white? That's rapid set because basically what happened here, this was the old rock, um, rock and cement or uh, exposed aggregate concrete finish and I had to fill in a bunch of big gaps. And that rapid set that you see right there, that is from basically just a, a bunch that I had scraped off. And that's how it dries. It dries bright, bright white. And obviously you can tell the difference. It doesn't blend very well. So it's the only problem I have with the rapid set. So we're gonna see if we could get either some coloring or a rapid set that dries gray. And uh, we're going to do uh, these stairs all over. And again, I think this is kind of like an annual maintenance type of item. Um, but obviously, the, the more you do it, maybe if you do it one year, two years, maybe the third, fourth, and fifth year, it'll uh, it'll last, you know. But um, who knows? But there we are. Come back to you once we redo this. We'll do another shot. But that's going to be a couple months, man. It's still cold here. It's uh, starting to warm up. We're in North Jersey. I think it's about 39 degrees today, but it's windy. And uh, hopefully by April or so, April, May, we'll be able to get back out here and uh, refloat this out. That's that. Talk to you soon.